What's up Guardians? Welcome to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be sharing some of my tips and tricks on how to have uh, lots of success in the Inferno Control playlist which is up this week. Really excited about it. I had a blast last time it was up and so uh, excited to bring you some of this gameplay. And uh, this first clip I'm going to show you just kind of shows a lot of what I want to talk about. First and foremost, flanking routes. I took the long way around C. You know, most people expect you in the cave when you spawn A side. And uh, I took the long way around, wrapped up behind guys. Obviously, there's no radar. So anytime you can approach from uh, the enemy's spawn side, so you have their back, you're facing their back, then that's always what you want to do. So take advantage of those flanking routes. And uh, I did have a lot of fun being able to use some weapons I don't typically use. Uh, I still ran into plenty of Thorn and Felwinter users, but when there's no radar, it does kind of help to level the playing field quite a bit. So you see here in this clip, I'm, I'm doing these long circles around the map. I highly recommend that you do the same thing. Uh, you never want to stay still for very long. I would say if you're sitting still for more than five seconds, then, uh, then that's a bad life choice in this playlist. So don't stand still. Keep yourself moving. And uh, I found that a healthy way of approaching this playlist was to always just assume that someone is chasing you with a shotgun. <laughs> because oftentimes that's true, but even if it's not true, it does encourage you to be highly mobile. So when you are highly mobile, there is a much uh, uh, you know, worse chance that someone is going to be able to come up behind you and kill you. There's a much less chance that you're going to get flanked. and. Um, so that way it keeps you less vulnerable and it keeps you on the offensive. And that's kind of what I found in this playlist is that it doesn't really favor defensive players uh, too much. It really favors the offensive person, the person that's highly mobile, that's taking advantage of all the space on the map, uh, be it horizontal or be it vertical. So you're going to see plenty of that in this video. So I'm using lots of vertical space, using lots of flanking maneuvers, and attacking people, generally attacking them from uh, behind. So I'm always coming at them from their six. I also found, I don't know if this is true for everyone else, but it was true for me. I have had such great drops in the Inferno playlist so far. So freeze frame here. So I'm doing this uh, flanking route again. You come around the side, and uh, these guys are so easily exposed. It makes for some easy kills and uh, easy multi-kills. This turned into a breaker metal. Pretty easy peasy. And then here you have another situation where, you know, I'm looking down this long sight line. And I'm like, screw that. I'm not going to just stand there and let someone thorn me to death. So I come up from uh, the side here and take them off guard. So they're still sighted in, expecting me down at the end of that hallway with my buddy. But uh, I'm not there anymore. And then here, one of the things I found helpful was using the Fang of Ear. You, you, you look right there. I know exactly where this guy is because of that giant uh, green cone over his head. So I had a lot of fun using the Fang in this playlist. It did kind of help make people more visible after I had already engaged them and they tried to find cover. So again, here you see uh, at the beginning of the match, most people go up just like this guy did. They come up through those doorways and uh, I wasn't going to do that. I decided to flank instead. I made it so that we could clear them out pretty quickly and take B early in the match. And then again here, using that same route except going the low road. And uh, made for some easy kills. This guy was AFK. I move up here and decide to get a drop on this guy by using my vertical space so that when he looked down that hallway he didn't see me immediately. And then I just drop down, get the quick, easy kill with Plan C. You know, I haven't used fusion rifles in forever since the, uh, the nerf. But I found in this playlist, they were easy to use again. And then here you have, uh, just coming up behind these guys again, approaching from their spawn location where they don't expect you to be. So flanking routes are absolutely huge. And then another big part of, of surviving and staying alive is using your vertical space like this. I jump up, I get a good uh, view of the room. I can see where these two enemies are, I tag one of them, and then I super. And so you're going to see me a lot using my vertical space because when people are looking for you and they're trying to do target acquisition, they're focusing at head level or, uh, you know, just kind of uh, you know, right at the, the, the vertical plane or the horizontal plane of the map. And there's just a lot more space that you can manipulate and use to your advantage so that you're much less visible, much harder to get a beat on, especially without 
a radar. So this this whole time I've been playing this playlist, I'm doing exactly this, just coming around on people's flanks, killing them from behind. And that's really what this playlist is all about. That's how you're going to get long kill streaks. You know, honestly, so far this week I've only played I've played maybe 8 matches. And I've already had several reigns of terror. I've had a few uh, breaker medals already. So just using these tactics, you should have a lot of success in this playlist. And so I'm going to kind of break down uh, a lot of these sort of moments where these uh, these approaches to this playlist have really paid off in some great dividends. Again, you see here, just coming up from behind, from their uh, spawn side. And then I, I, I see this guy trying to kind of camp this corner. I get win, one hit in on him, and then right now I'm, I'm almost dead. I know this guy is going to pursue his kill, so I decide to jump up here. So that when he comes around the corner looking for me, I'm not at head level. Gave me the advantage. I was able to take him out pretty easily. So you really want to take advantage of that vertical space. And then here on Pantheon, using those same strategies, coming from the flank here, and that makes for some easy peasy kills. These guys have uh, no idea what hit him, certainly not expecting at the very beginning of the match to get killed from behind. So you just gotta go on these flanking routes quickly because uh, people will tend to move around the map the same way they do when they're playing regular control. And frankly, that just makes them super vulnerable in this playlist. You don't want to travel those same avenues that you typically do, at least not nearly as frequently. And so again, using that exact same route. Sometimes there's a sniper here, you know, kind of looking down cliffside, but generally they're going to be looking around Bravo. Makes for some really easy kills. So I highly suggest that you guys use these flanking routes, come from behind as much as you can. This guy was just camping up here the whole match. I killed him like four or five times, and he got a few kill streaks in because my teammates were just coming down that hallway like derps. But, uh, you know, if, if you make a habit out of just staying there, he really didn't go that far positive because he was just always in the same place. Everyone knew where to look for him, and it made for, uh, you know, some easy kills for me. And then here I know Heavy's about to be up, so I go ahead and super these two guys off of it, and uh, our team gets it. Now Heavy isn't quite as important as it is in the uh, normal playlist, just because you are really, really vulnerable even when you have Heavy, because you can't see everything around you at the same time. So, uh, you know, whether you get Heavy or not, it's not a, a huge game changer in this playlist. Kind of like I said, I got to use a lot of different weapons just because the playing field was a lot more level without the radar. And that's what I love the most about this playlist is that uh, it does really free up some new options for you. And uh, I'm really hoping that Trials of Osiris is going to be similar to the Inferno playlist. I'm hoping it's going to be 3v3 with no radar. That's kind of what my, my hope for it is. And then when you do get heavy, and, uh, you know, I managed to get my, my hands on some heavy ammo in this match. Try to play a little bit more conservatively, just because uh, you can die really easily. There's a lot of places that people can approach you from. So I'm trying to move as much as possible so no one can come up behind me. And uh, trying to maximize my potential with that heavy ammo. And you're going to want to do the same. So... Uh, all that being said, you know, uh, I just finished watching the Twitch stream from Bungie with Gathali on there, um, looking at the uh, the new House of Wolves social space, and I just gotta say, I'm so stoked. Like, even without seeing anything directly related to PvP, well, except for maybe the, the transmog stuff, but um, just really pumped. You know, the social space isn't huge. I mean, it's not a giant place, but there's just a lot that it has to offer. I mean, having a new... Uh, person that you can, well, the warden of the uh, prison of elders, is a fallen guy, which looks super legit. He looks awesome, and uh, you know, just to be able to interact with some new types of, of characters to get a little bit more story. And uh, the transmog stuff is awesome. Lots of new ways to upgrade your gear. Uh, being able to reforge. That's just um, you know, I'm super stoked about that. Being able to upgrade with. Um, 
uh, you know, upgrade your existing gear with, you know, that stuff that we've just been stockpiling, you know, all those weapon parts and stuff we don't use. I'll close this video out. You get to see my drop last night I got off of Atheon, which was a pretty generous offer. So, well, I hope you guys are excited for House of Wolves. I uh, hope you were able to catch that Twitch stream. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you so that this week as you play the playlist, you can experience some success. And uh, lastly, guys, just uh, want to encourage you as a father and husband, make sure you put that controller down when it's necessary and uh, make sure you're investing in the things that are important as well. So hope you have a good one, guys. Peace.